In this video, I'm gonna compare two of the most popular Linux distributions out there, Mint and Endeavor OS, to Windows 11 in games using the 4080 Super from NVIDIA. First, let me share a few words about these two Linux distributions. Mint is an Ubuntu and Debian based Linux distribution that doesn't come with the latest kernel and NVIDIA GPU drivers. This distribution is a bit safer, so to say, or in other words, it uses more stable drivers and kernel as well as the software out there. On the screen now you have the NVIDIA drivers that were available at the time of the recording and also the system info, like the kernel version and a bit more. Endeavor OS is an Arch-based distribution. By default, Arch distributions come with newer drivers and kernel alongside newer app versions. On the screen now you can see the system info. Stick till the end if you want to see which felt less buggy on my system. If interested, check the video's description to see the system configuration and while there consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this. The two Linux versions used are as they come, no tweaks or improvements were made. The performance that you'll see is what you get after you install the distribution on your machine, set up Lotris and Steam, install Mango HUD and G-Overlay to be able to see the game stats and that's it. Both Linux versions had applied the latest updates available. When it comes to running the games in Linux, on Steam I use Proton Experimental for all games, while in Lotris I use Proton G, the latest version. Moving on to Windows 11, I did a fresh installation, applied all the updates available, installed the latest NVIDIA drivers, the latest AMD chipset drivers, disabled core isolation and made sure that the balanced power plan is set. I'm gonna test only at 1440p and 4K and throw in some ray tracing comparisons as well. In the side by side runs, you will be able to see the average FPS as well as the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows. After the side by side runs, I will collect all data, add it in the charts, and after that, I will share my experience about issues that I encounter using these two Linux distributions. Yes, sir.
This place... I can't live in these pajamas the rest of my life.
For those that are color blind, for each game, the first bar holds the 1% lows and the average frames for Windows 11, the second one for Mint and the last one for Endeavor OS. As we can see in the 1440p chart with RT off, Windows enjoys victories in all games. The only game where Linux came close to Windows was Age of Mythology, retold, with Endeavor OS being only 3 frames per second behind, at least when it comes to the averages. Looking at the chart, the Linux distributions perform more or less the same, there are a few wins for Endeavor, but Mint delivers good performance as well. In a blind test, it will be hard to tell them apart. What you can't tell from this chart, but could be seen in the side-by-side -side runs, is that Endeavor delivers better 0.1 lows, it feels less stuttery when RT is set to off. The outlier is Alan Wake though. In this game, both Linux distributions deliver a disappointing experience with a lot of stutters, but this is mainly due to the NVIDIA display drivers. When we enable RT at 1440p paired with upscaling set to quality, Windows still leads, but now Mint delivers a smoother experience, less stuttery, at least compared to Endeavor. I'm not sure why this is the case, as Endeavor has newer GPU drivers, a bit unexpected to be honest. Pumping up the resolution to 4K with RT set to off, Endeavor OS delivers almost similar results to Windows in Age of Mythology Retold and Company of Heroes 3, though in the same games Mint trails Endeavor and I'm not sure why this is the case. Maybe the newer display driver plays a small part or the kernel included some performance optimization for the CPU. To be honest, it's hard to tell. In all other games, both Linux distributions share small victories, but nothing major to set them apart. Windows still holds the performance crown, as it can be seen in this chart. Enabling RT at 4K plus DLSS set to quality, Windows outperforms both Linux distributions by a good margin. As we saw in the 1440p ray tracing chart, Mint fares better when enabling ray tracing, at least in the games tested with an NVIDIA GPU. Looking at the overall performance as expected, the dynamics haven't changed when you pair a NVIDIA GPU with Linux for gaming. The performance is lower compared to Windows at both resolutions. Ray tracing is possible, you will lose a lot of performance though, so have that in mind. Both Linux distros perform more or less the same, with Endeavor doing a bit better at 4K with ray tracing disabled, while Mint having an edge when enabling RT, at least in the games that I tested. While Mint should be the more stable distro, in my case this was the opposite. I experienced more issues in Mint, like the following. I had issues when using full screen in some games. Have a look at Alan Wake 2 when attempting to use full screen. Also, I lost the image on my screens when enabling fractional scaling, although this feature is experimental. On the other side, Endeavor was flawless, at least in the period that I tested the games. These videos about gaming and only gaming using these two distros and nothing more, and as we saw, there is little performance differences. If you are considering to move to Linux, do some research online regarding the Linux distributions you want to choose. There are a few that I featured on this channel, like Nobara and Now Mint and Endeavor, but there are many more. Keep in mind that none will do better when compared to Windows, at least until Nvidia will put more effort into Linux drivers or the open source drivers mature. We need Linux paired with Nvidia GPUs to close the gap to Windows, as this will propel Linux more, as Nvidia is the leader in the discrete GPU market. And that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.